Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says it is following up on several tips about the location of four escaped inmates. The FBI, the GBI and the U.S. Marshals Service are helping and we have new information explaining how those four inmates escaped and what was going on inside the jail late Sunday night and early Monday morning. We have received that information from several credible anonymous sources, including former deputies. Jessica Cha joins us now to break it all down, including new photos showing how the prisoners escaped. It is tonight's top story. Yes, Frank, we were able to speak to sources on the phone and got several photos of damage to both the inside and outside of the window inmates escaped out of. I went out to the jail today to inspect the area myself, and we believe these photos are legitimate. Here's what we know about how the inmates got the tools, where they escaped, and what jail staffing was like early Monday. On Monday, Bibb Sheriff David Davis said they have staffing problems and an old jail. I think uh, there's some elements of all of that that, that played a role in this particular situation here. So how did inmates break out? A vehicle that had been there earlier in the evening looked like they had been tampering with the fence as well as uh, bringing some items uh, into the uh, enclosed area of the fence. Sources told us the driver of the Blue Challenger brought tools onto the jail grounds, including power tools. They say intruders cut spots in two fences that look like a path to a second floor day room window, and inmates lowered bed sheets to raise the tools up to them. That we believe uh, were used by these inmates to, to escape. Sources say inmates use the tools to chisel through the window frame. One said it looks like it would have taken more than one night's work and didn't know why guards didn't hear the noise. Davis acknowledges that. It should have been somebody that heard some tampering and there's some indications that somebody might have. And what was the staffing like on the night of the escape? Davis says there was less than 10 people working in the jail. But sources say there were only three on duty inside the jail's seven blocks. Two are working in the new part of the jail and one working in the oldest part of the jail where the escape occurred. That means there weren't enough officers to respond to a disturbance anywhere in the jail, one source told us. They also say to do a head count, two deputies must be present in a cell block. With only three officers, that left at least four cell blocks with no supervision for the entire shift. A fourth deputy was working master control and could not leave their station. That's been an issue for us, staffing uh, the conditions of the jail. Now, within the past hour, the Bibb Sheriff's Office did confirm that the photos we showed you are legitimate and show you the scene of the escape. We also reached out to Sheriff David Davis to confirm further details such as staffing early Monday, but so far he has not responded. Frank, back to you. All right, thanks, Jessica. Again, the four inmates are still free. They are Joey Fournier, Mark Anderson, Jennifer Barnwell, and Chavis Stokes. If you have any information on their whereabouts, you are asked to call the numbers on your screen, including the Macon Regional Crime Stoppers number at 1-877-68-CRIME. Now, we want to explain more about how we reported this story. We rarely use anonymous sources. We like to tell you where our information comes from and show our sources on camera. Viewers tell us that builds trust and credibility in our stories, and we certainly agree. We make exceptions only when we have confidence in our sources and have made every effort to confirm the information on our own. In this case, we got details about the escape from a person connected to the jail. They also sent us photos. We checked that information with several other law enforcement sources. They told us this description of the jail and the escape seemed credible. We visited the jail to check the photos against what would, we could see for ourselves. And we gave Sheriff David Davis and a spokesperson a chance to confirm or deny the information we're reporting. Another reason we're making this exception is the importance of this story. The escape by the four prisoners from the jail, one of them an accused killer, is certainly extremely important and in a certain cases could be a matter of life and death. We hope this information helps explain how it happened and possibly prevents more cases like it. 